All right, to get started, I just added a video clip to my timeline, and I also imported an image that I'd like to use as a logo. To add your logo to your video, just drag it onto the track above your video clip on the timeline. Okay, now if you move the playhead over your image clip, you'll see your logo in the preview. The logo only plays back for a few seconds, so to increase its duration, drag the ends of it to extend it. I'll set mine to last for the entire clip. Next, if you want to change the size of your image, double click it in the preview to reveal its sizing handles. Then just drag the handles to resize it to your liking. And to move your image in the frame, just drag anywhere inside the handles to a new position. Now, if you'd like to change the transparency of your logo, make sure your image clip is still selected on the timeline, and go over to Effect Controls. In here, make sure the opacity settings are opened up. Then drag the opacity's value to decrease it to your liking. This will make your image more transparent. If you'd rather just use a preset than change the opacity, you can also just change the blend mode to overlay. I think overlay is a little bit too transparent for this image though, so you can also use difference mode, which I think looks really good. Okay, you should be set if your image has a transparent background to start with, but let's say you're working with a JPEG with a white background. To get rid of the white background, let's start by going over to the effects panel. Then type color key into the search box. Drag the color key effect onto your image clip on the timeline. Now, up in effect controls for your image, you'll see the color key effect. Next to color key, click this little dropper button. Then click anywhere inside the white background of your image to get rid of it. This already got rid of most of it, but to get rid of the rest of the white, we'll need to increase the color tolerance. You can also play around with the other two settings if you're still not getting the look you're going for, but mine looks good as it is. Alright, and that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.